reaching to your hand with someone today. Lord God Almighty, we give you the praise and the thanks for another day. Another hour with another time. Bless us to come in ourselves together. Lord, stretch forth your hand and touch and bless every soul that's in the day. Oh God, Holy Ghost, have your way. Lord, be with the claim that we may be able to speak out the order of God. Take control. Lord, take over the service. We ask in the name of Jesus. Give him a great big old hand on him. Yeah. Really like you love him. Oh, Lord. No. Yeah, you may have your seat in the Apostle of the Amen. Amen. Look to one of the fans of Happy Easter. Amen. Amen. Thank you for my Jesus. My Jesus. That bled and died on an array car. Yeah. And shed the blue. Yeah, yeah. And y'all like the Lord. And the reason 
why they won't do it is because blood has life in it. You know. See, blood is a, a living thing. Amen. At the end of the day, man, you want to be your blood brother, eh? Amen. He cut you and himself that he be blood brother. The blood have black in it. Blood. Like, amen. That, 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 that's why blood is so important. Because of the life of the blood. Amen. Maybe I need you to turn one more script and I'll come back for less than a minute. But, Amen. She know how long she 
been praying. He know how much he got prayed. He know how much he got prayed. But the man don't know. Unless he has a, 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 a he look at him and said, boy, this is a fine baby you got. That boy look good. Everybody gonna tell a lie, he look just like you.
I'm made with hand. He just said the figure of the truth. But in to heaven itself. To appear in the presence of God for us. Go so ahead, take in that blood. Take it to the into the presence of God. Because the blood, amen, had to be taken out before anybody can touch it, nobody can put a hand on it. Because of the amen, the blood had to be cleaned out before, you know. You, you can't even touch it. If you put your hand in blood, amen, you tell me. That's all. Not the blood. But, amen. Let's go ahead to another amen scripture. And, um, and I know y'all don't be, but I know one thing. Every day, this. And in the 20th chapter of the book of uh, uh, John, still talking about the blood. The blood is pure. Amen. You're sanctified through the blood of Jesus. Amen. You're purified through the blood of Jesus. You're being holy through the blood of Jesus. See, the blood of Jesus is what makes you whole. Yeah. He washed you in the blood. Amen. Amazing. He washed you in his blood. So we are washed in the blood of Jesus. So when they crucified him, it was necessary for Jesus to shed blood. He had to shed blood. Even though they beat him and they put stripes on him, but the most important of Jesus' death was the blood. Oh, yeah. We often say the blood of Jesus sealed our power. And power we get the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. So when Jesus rose from the dead, he got out of the grave. He rose from the dead. Amen. And I want to show you something. He rose from the dead, but nobody can touch him. Because he hadn't made got to hell yet. So he had to get to hell with him before and come back before they could touch him. If the side was going to be touched. They couldn't even put their hand on Jesus, amen, until he went to the Father and then made it back. I want to read to you. Amen. This is what it says. As in, the, and, and in John, the 20th chapter, verse 16. Jesus said unto her, Mary. She turned herself around and said unto him, Rabbi, we just said master. And if we said, Jesus said unto her, touch me not. Yeah. Don't touch me. Because I, for her to touch him would mess the blood now. He had to get to the Father and bring we can take the blood in the front of the Father and we just read he yelled and washed into hell and into the holy place. Then he went on to say, Hey man, touch me not. For I have not yet ascended to my father, my father. But go to my brothers and say unto them, I ascended to my father and your father. And to my God and your God. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So when I see it, that's the way you do it. Praise God. And Mary Magdalene came with that toe to the sound that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Amen. In other words, he had to get to the Father, take the blood, in the presence of the Father. Amen. And God put his approval on the sacrifice of Jesus. Put an approval on the shedding blood of Jesus. Glory to God. Then Jesus came down, back down, after he had been crucified. Are you this one saying? And walked on this earth for these 40 days and talked with the brother. Oh, no, no. But the most important of his dying was the shedding of his blood. When they beat him, put stripes on him, yeah. crown him with thorns, and hanging on the cross and they're going dead, the man pissed him in the side. Yeah. And out come blood and water. Oh, y'all yeah. oh, you not have me now. Glory. But Jesus took that blood up and uh, took it in the front of the Bible. No, 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 no. Well, you know, 
Yeah, that's common, isn't it? That, that, that's common to everybody, everybody. Now, you, you know, why they do this? Why do they do this when you get married? You got to have blood. Why do you got to have blood? Then? So they know who's blood. Everybody come in and test your blood. Your blood already up there. You know what kind of blood you got. Can you say amen? Let's tell them about what kind of blood you got. They know what kind of blood you got. Amen. So Jesus, amen, all y'all know him with God. Hell, Jesus, brother, took the blood and the blood of the Father. And now, God, amen, this is why God separated the saints from himself. He can separate the saints from himself because he knew, he knew who had the blood. See, <laughs> he know, amen, he know, he know exactly, amen, who is his. All right. Uh, because of the blood. I can go to the temple in the other minute. After the seventh chapter of the temple. Nevertheless, the foundation of God said it true. And it was having this seal, the blood. The Lord knows them out of here. See what I'm talking about. Having this seal, the Lord knows his children. Oh, if, 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 if God didn't have a way of separating, he wouldn't know some member. He wouldn't know who it is. See, everybody that go to church, no, amen, is not Christian. Everybody that's singing in choir, they're not Christian. Everybody that holler hallelujah, is not Christian. But the Lord knows the children of God for the children of them. To have in this seal, the Lord knows them never hear. And let everyone name the name of Christ apart from the name. So he knows what you're saying. Come on. He is a healer with Jesus that never lost. Come on, I have him and everything is done, is done as just like him help. No, amen, amen. The first thing you know, and his name won't know is the word, amen. The first thing you do is I'll take your blood. Uh -huh. One, two, and three. Sometimes it takes somebody's blood when you get in there. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, two, and three. Yeah. Ain't all that blood out of you. Yeah. But they won't know what's wrong with you. Yeah. Can you say it back then? So the same thing he is God, he doesn't go right to he check the blood. He said, have you been washed in the blood? Have you been sanctified in the blood? See, he knows where his blood goes. Uh -huh. See, you can't fool it. You know what I'm talking about? You can fool man, but you can't fool God. Because God knows who's been washed in the blood. God knows who's been sanctified by the blood. God knows whether you're a child of God or a child of the devil. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. Why? Because the blood. And he said in one pastor, amen to the children of Israel. They give me like, the wife's hell you see the blood. Uh -huh. Pass over. Pass over. Pass over with blood. Wherever you see the blood, he said to the devil in you, pass over. God knows who comes with the blood. God knows who has the blood. Oh, God knows all about it. And that's why it's so important to be saved. Yeah. And know you're saved. Because, see, you can't fool nobody. And the main way you can't fool the God. Amen. Because he said, God knows he. He knows his children. Amen. He knows his children. See, that's why I brought in that same day and where he said, uh, everybody don't know his children. Amen. It may be mine. It might be mine. I don't know who they are. <laughs> Jose, amen. When God, he told all these children. They come to find out none of us here. They love me, folks, everybody. Amen. 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 Take care of all the children that were none of you. No, Amen. I mean, this one's done. Amen. Amen. Go. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But uh, the children know his children. He will bruise for our sake. 
How you wounded for our sake. He died for our sake. Amen. 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 He died for your sake. Amen. And he will be, amen. Without death, there will be no testament. Without death, there will be no blood. Nobody. Or oh, if you look at it, nobody is blessed more while they live than they are when they die. Yeah. Death. Tell the story of life. Yeah. Tell the story of life. My new became the blessed, but after death, we were blessed. And, and you know almost everything if you couldn't tell that death. Right? You, you, you can beg them down there and go down to the headquarters and you go to the poor beach state and beg them to bust out time. They won't bust out time when somebody keeps. Yeah. When somebody dies, they stick us out time. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't hear me now. So Jesus died for your sin. Jesus died for your sin. How you pray? I'm not your sin, amen. That's what I why it's so well, I know what you're doing. Really good. <laughs> Beautiful uh -huh. But I, you can tell me anything you want. You can tell me, amen. I know I'm a Christian. Yeah. I have no reason, amen, to doubt what you say. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. But you and Jesus, you and Jesus know who you belong to. Yeah. Huh? And don't nobody know but you and Jesus. You and my Jesus know who you belong to. Can you say that? Jesus know. You know, God don't do like, you know, he says, well, you know, God, how you know. But now, God is going to try you. He's going to test you. He's going to put a test on you. He took children of Israel around the side of the same mountain for 40 years to know what's in their heart. Yeah. Amen. See whether or not they're saved or not. Yeah. See, God ain't man. <laughs> He's not just somebody going to take you. Come on, just take for granted you belong to him. Right. This is why Timothy said, the Lord, here Paul said, the Lord, having this seal, the Lord knows them that are him. Yeah. He knows his children. Yeah. He knows who belongs to him. Yeah. Can you say that again? Yeah. That's why when his children cry, he knows the cry of the children of God. Yeah. He said, I would help you when you cry. Yeah. I'd be there for you when you ain't got nobody. When you don't even have a mom and a dad that says, I'll stick by you. Yeah. And whenever they are gone, I'm still going to be with you. Yeah. I'm going to be with you in the ups and I'm going to be with you in the downs. I'm going to help you to see you through. No matter what go down and what come up. Yeah. Yeah. God said, I'm going to be there with you. Yeah. I'm going to say, I haven't seen a friend. God knows who that is. He knows his own truth. Yeah. Amen. So he was wounded for you. Uh, amen. He rose for you. I know everybody want to look at the good things, amen. I'm telling you, the Bible declared that this man, Jesus, would beat someone to you, man, your soul, that he didn't look like a man. And the Jesus, the Bible said again that Jesus was treading out the wine press alone, treading in his own blood. Hallelujah. Try to in his own blood. Uh, and then the Bible turned around and said, when Jesus up on the cross died, he was dying up on the cross. All of a sudden, he said, it is finished. Yeah. This thing is over. Yeah. Can you say it now again? Yeah. It's finished. Oh, y'all don't have it. Yeah. Yeah. It went down in hell, amen. The prince of those that was, had been a long time, amen. And then they had to live according to us in the flesh. But the Bible all say he can walk with, and John the Revelator put him in a good place. John said, I saw him. I saw him. Hallelujah. And he said, I saw him. He said he had the key of hell and death in him. Amen. And with that man, good Satan, and beat him up and took the keys of hell and death. Amen. You know, no more we had to go by Satan, amen, to get in. Amen. Jesus said, I am the dope. Yeah. I am the truth and I am the light. Every man in and by me, he shall be saved. They said, the thief coming to kill. And he coming to destroy. And all that ever was going before me are thieves and robbers. But I, come, I am the good shepherd. I come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Glory to God. Ooh, I thank you for that. 
called, amen, the crucifixion of Jesus. Amen. The death of Jesus. It has a more meaning to it than most of us that we can think about. The death of Jesus means that there's an end to your trouble. in the blood. 
blood of Jesus. Amen. Well, when that come back through you, take that number of power. That power in the blood of Jesus. That power in that blood. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. Not, you know what, make it so many power. Now, what day y'all look at me and think no power, right? If they have a person who has AIDS, touch me. Touch you with the blood, you will get it. Huh? That's why you see all these people in the nest. That's why you see all these people in the nest. And then you get in trouble. Just yeah, one drop of blood will destroy your whole body. Your whole body will be running just yeah, one drop. So that way you don't, you don't have to have sex to have AIDS. You just, somebody touch you again. But that power is the blood. And another thing why that's so about is, you know what? And we show you what 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 make you have made hey, all on this boat. I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what 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 why I've been full with the blood from right here. You leave bit of it? Uh huh. The 19th chapter, 8 and 17th chapter. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. So blood has life. Blood has life. Your blood has life. That way it moves through your body. Your blood has life. Life in the blood. That blood got life in it. Life. And the only thing that keeps you living is your blood. I'm saying what you're talking about. Your flesh ain't got nothing to do with your life. Your blood is what keeps you alive. Your blood is what keeps you living. That's why they give you blood. Give you some more blood. Because if you don't have blood, you're going to die. For the life of your flesh is your blood. And your life totally, completely is your blood. Eternal life is in the blood. Uh, he said, he believed on me, I stripped it out, finished it in the river of water, and he said, 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 and you're going to become a child of God. Yeah. Glory to God. The devil ain't going to have no business putting his hand on you now because you're one of God's children. Stand to your feet. The blood is precious. I've been reading that. Tell somebody the blood of Jesus is precious. It's precious. Precious. Amen. If you don't thank God for nothing, they'll thank Him for the blood. Amen. Thank you. Amen. If you get up in the morning time, y'all always say, Lord, cover me with the blood. Cover me with the blood. Amen. Because the dream why you need to cover the blood. He said, when the enemy see the blood, he going to pass over you. He going to leave you alone. When he see that blood, he going to pass over you. That's why he said, Lord, cover me with the blood. Cover me with the blood. Amen. And if you're not a Christian today, you haven't been covered with the blood. You know you ain't man need to take me salvation. Come down. I'm going to pray with you. Come on. Come down, ask the prayer, get some prayer. So we pray with you that God will cover you with the blood. Can you say anything? Cover with you with the blood. Good. Thank the time coming. Amen. I know you're going to be wondering. How you, amen. I'm going to tell you, can't nobody, but they always remember that can't nobody cover you and keep you alive with Jesus. Amen. Amen. God let you know. God's in your bedroom. If you go in for anyone get to you, they'll keep you. But the blood of Jesus, that blood of 
Jesus has power. Can you say that? I mean, I got that feeling you need to give a close to the Lord this morning. He's today. Get in here, come up quickly, get in line. I want to pray for you. You want to get close to the Lord. It's always that closer walk with the Lord. Oh God, yeah, you need something from the Lord. Nobody say, I don't need nothing. And the blood is fresh. I'm in love with the Lord today. Amen. No better time. Oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You have been covered with blood. Can you say amen? Amen. Let's pray for you. God will bless you.